And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, clouds over Lafayette, but looking west from our downtown Renaissance camera, some peaks of blue there, some sunshine as well. Temperatures, a big warm up today. We hit the upper 70s, low 80s throughout the region this afternoon. 79 today in Lafayette. That's 13 degrees above average for this time of the year. As it stands now, we're at 76 degrees. Winds are from the southwest at 14 miles per hour. We've been seeing those wind gusts up around 25, 27 miles per hour over the last uh, five, six hours here. Certainly breezy from the south, and that's what's helped drive those temperatures higher across the region. Temperatures at this hour, 77 in Frankfurt, 80 Remington, 83 still Morocco. And uh, this warm-up isn't just local. We're looking at uh, above-average temperatures throughout all the Midwest. 84 in Springfield. It's 86 right now St. Louis. Evansville sitting uh, pretty at 80 degrees. Even Chicago at 81. And that's where we're looking at a severe thunderstorm watch. So the Storm Prediction Center issuing a se severe thunderstorm watch for northern Illinois, parts of southern Wisconsin. And that's all because we're beginning to see a line of showers and storms fire up there. You can see right across parts of northern Illinois, southeastern Wisconsin within the last couple of hours. This line of showers and storms firing up. This is the line that's expected to impact our region here at home later on this evening. And it's all thanks to that as well as a low pressure system. A cold front that spanning southward from this to the low is actually swinging further off to the east. You can see some light cloud cover rolling across parts of Iowa and Illinois representing the leading edge of that cold front. That's what's going to be bringing us the chances of shower and thunderstorm activity here at home later on this evening. So there's your cold front right there. This is by 6 p.m. rolling further off to the east. Notice a defined line beginning to pop up by about 11 p.m. We could see some storms reach our northwestern counties as early as 10 p.m. However, with the cold front passing through, any threat for severe weather quickly comes to an end by about 1, 2 a.m. in the morning. Thereafter, pretty quiet, a couple light lingering showers, a possibility early tomorrow morning. But still, we are under a risk of severe weather. You can see the light yellow on your screen. That's your slight risk. The dark green, that's your marginal risk. So between a marginal and a slight risk of severe weather for the northern half of the viewing area, late tonight, early tomorrow morning, the main storm threats from this system, hail larger than an inch in diameter and wind gusts in excess of 60 miles per hour. Your snapshot forecast fitting for this evening. Doug Reese sending in this awesome picture of the shelf cloud moving in towards him. 78 degrees by 7 p.m. We'll see temperatures in those mid to upper 70s in the next couple of hours. Then chances of rainfall move in after 10 before we fall off to around 61 degrees overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. The good news is the cold front stays off to the south of us. We could see a couple isolated rain showers for the southern half of the viewing area tomorrow. For the most part, we stay dry with temperatures back above average. 77 degrees your high temperature on Tuesday. Wednesday all the way back down to 62, but better chances of rainfall that day. More sustained rain chances throughout the afternoon and evening. Maybe some lingering shower and thunderstorm activity on Thursday before we finally dry out on Friday. Friday, a high temperature that day of just 64 degrees with mostly sunny skies. Yeah, we'll cool off a little bit, don't we? Yeah, a little this bit week. cooler, but still pretty nice uh, considering this time of the year. Temperatures uh, remaining above average almost across the board. All right, thanks, Kim. Yeah. Well, just when you